this uh, day is uh, exciting for many reasons. It's, it's uh, kind of a little bit of a dream or an idea that's coming together and taking shape. And it is good to see it embodied. We are people of embodiment, of incarnation, and so it's good to see uh, this embodied. When I first was elected five years, almost five years ago, I met with the Commission on Ministry. And there are, there are a couple of folks still on the commission who are on the commission at that time. Most everyone else has rotated off. But then there were, there were three things that were really dominant for us at the time. One was, of course, because there had been a bishop transition, there was a, a kind of backlog of folks who were interested in the process, right? And so they were put on hold. So we had folks that we needed to, to help continue on towards the ordination process. We had three deacon candidates. I think, let's see, one, two, two of the three are in the room now, right? And you remember the question, what's coming up next? What's next, what's next, what's next? Oh, Lord, how long must we wait? That was the question. <laughs> Lord, how long? And the second major question was overall our dis the discernment process for holy orders, that Delaware did not have a, um, a, a process that had, was written down, codified, so to speak. And so I asked the commission to do that. And that's a big job. And they've done it. Well done. Well done, commission. The third thing I asked the commission to do right there at the very beginning was to take really seriously the call to support lay ministry. Now, if you look at the canons of the church, and I know you do, I know each and every one of you crack open the canons. Title three, there are five titles at major sections of the canons, and title three is called ministry. And it's all about the life of deacons and life of priests and life of bishops, but it also talks about lay ministry in the church. And I encourage, I ask the commission to take this seriously. And in all three of these areas, the commission enthusiastically said, yes, let's do this. And so the folks who are in the pipeline, that's, those folks have been ordained. Marianne Younger, remember, and uh, 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 Marta Iueka, our deacons, et cetera, et cetera, the, the the process for holy orders is now in place, and we've begun really looking at what it means to be a lay member of the church and to be called to ministry to Jesus Christ. And when you think about the four orders of ministry in our church, laity, deacons, bishops, priests, you realize who's the biggest? What's the biggest? Where's the real muscle in the church? Right? It's in the laity. The image I often use when we, we speak of the church as the body of Christ, I didn't make that up, St. Paul did. But when I think about it, that, that, that the, the body of Christ, we ordain folks who are called to ordain ministry. I see of us, I think of us as a bit like the connective tissue, right? We're, we're the part that we're trying to, to, to bring together, and, but it's the laity that are the muscle and the brain. It's you're the beating heart of the church. Are you with me? It's the truth. And so we're all needed for this body to work. Last year, the commission uh, crafted the uh, Fire and Formation Conference to emphasize the call in our baptism, that through baptism, all of us are called by Christ to do this work. We're all already called right there in our baptism. So today we're looking specifically at the call to serve Jesus Christ through the church. Now this is not the full spectrum of call. Obviously people serve Jesus Christ beyond the walls of the church all the time. But today we're looking at the, the part of that baptismal call to serve Jesus Christ through this beautiful church. That when the church is stronger, we're saying that our witness is stronger. So I thank you for coming here today and to discern what is the Holy Spirit saying to you. One other thing that when we speak about lay ministry serving Christ through the church, this is actually old school. This is not new by any stretch of the imagination. And perhaps later, Jeff, you might share some of what you shared with uh, the uh, clergy earlier this week uh, around uh, lay ministry earlier here in the Diocese of Delaware. But this is old school. We're not creating anything new. We're celebrating that which is already with us. It's a great joy to be here with you today, and I'm looking very much forward to what's coming. Thank you for being here, friends. Amen.